connection. Like, these are all things that, that happen, and, uh, you know, things can change moment to moment. So the consistency is only consistent as long as nothing upstream from you changes. Right. And when you go over long distances, the uh, chances of that happening are uh, multiplied. You know, uh, the, the farther away you are, the, the higher the chances. Yeah. Based like on John Travolta's uh, chills. The multiply. Where is that from? You, I'm surprised you got a reference that I did not get. Oh, man. That's Oh, I got chills. Of course it is. The multiplying. Yep, 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 yep. Now that you've yeah, sung it, I'm losing control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. There it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, just so you know, uh, if you're comfortable with commentating as kind of like a happenstance, uh, sure. then that is then that is fine. If you That's have things, if you have things to do, it does look like I have a potential alternate commentator for the last set. So I don't want you to feel like a oh. prisoner here. Or anything. Well, who, who wants to commentate? It looks like Twice a Day has I, said that if he uh, that if I need somebody to help out with commentary, that he'd be able to help out. If he wants, so the choice is yours. I'm here. If if he wants to come replace me, I'm not going to say no. Like, but I, I, I came on because I, you know, after dealing with this, I was just kind of like, okay, I guess I'm here for the duration, might as well. <laughs> yeah, and thanks very yeah. much for helping out as much as, uh, as That's much as you can. Yeah, it is kind of unfortunate. I can't wait until, like, you know, pe people wonder, people ask me, he's doing White Rose despite you, isn't he? Um, well, that's not necessarily <laughs> fair because he was doing White Rose a long, long time ago and he's kind of stayed that way, like, the whole time. So, you know, I, I can't necessarily blame him for that. Fantastic hop back into a CE. He has Red Rosa, so that might actually just straight up kill. Yeah, I think so. Oh, there it is. Nice job. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like... Get all the work that I've done to make this like as good as it could possibly be. I, I, I honestly, I can't wait for the day when I can throw it all out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be kind of a shame. Do you think that there's going to be a point where like once offline is uh, here that we'll never do these again? I'm, I'm okay to, to like have it as a, a sort of a, you know every so often or like you know we, we, we keep it up for for when while, there aren't like, offline events yeah that's what i'm saying like yeah. like i much prefer to be doing just going to offline events and having fun and just saying making a monthly I, I think it would not necessarily be a 100 percent consistent thing like it is now it would be kind of a catch as catch can hey there's a sunday Welcome afternoon the where there isn't anything soul caliber related happening therefore why don't we do one of these you know what i mean yeah, I think that's the idea. Oh shit, the Siegfried. Also, twice a day. Thanks Hello. very much for coming. How are we twice today? No problem. What's up? What's up, guys? How are you doing? Good. Doing all right. You know, kind of deflated that uh, we didn't end up getting the thing that uh, we wanted to. And just so I can get everything out here, because uh, Ramon is saying he just got here. What happened to Tenchi versus Incendiate? Unfortunately, Tenchi was having significant... Uh, frame rate drops that were causing freezing and some audio to kind of go away and we worked at it and worked at it and worked at it and unfortunately it just wasn't to the point where he felt comfortable continuing on with the set. He is from Costa Rica, I can't necessarily blame him, it is kind of an unfortunate circumstance and so this is kind of an impromptu first to ten that we have between Sandman and Incendiate, Sandman the mainless uh, Soul Calibur player nowadays and so Thanks very much to everybody who's kind of doing impromptu stuff. Thanks twice a day, Saban Days, for helping me out. Uh, like, all of that kind of stuff. And Sandman for, you know, allowing us to have multiple first attempts that, that we typically have for War of the Roses. So, yeah, an unfortunate situation, but I'm glad that it is. we are still producing some sort of content for our typical Sunday streams. Yeah, it might not be even, like, necessarily connection. It just seems like that's the most possible, the most probable thing. Like... It, it could also be like something on his PC causing the network. I don't know. It's honestly, it's it's, it's difficult. There's a lot of things to go into, and it would take uh, and not a lot of, them, of time whilst a live stream is going. Yeah, that, and not <laughs> not only does it interrupt the actual like production we're trying to do, but also it's like there's things that I don't even think I could diagnose like reasonably without right. being there. You know. Mm -hmm. um, that it could be so like my 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 ability to figure this stuff out is i think it's as good as it can it get, only right? reaches so far same day is a mere so fast, human being you know yes. if, you, if you prick him he bleeds it's like 
the you know try try my best to aspire to the uh the title but it, you know we only get so close to to heaven yeah it's it's difficult when you're a living legend that was a fantastic uh, whip punch there with the 6 AA. Yeah, I do uh, like Sa seeing it. S Sandman was uh, he's doing kind of good job with like just blocking stuff, uh, but then whenever he tries to take his turn, that's when he gets hit. So yeah. he he would kind of like block thing, and then like oh I I I can do something, and then just like gets hit immediately. And unfortunately, oh. you can only block for so long, and the inevitable. I-12 CE, I think he's dead. If he's not dead, he's gonna have a tough time dealing with this Oki. Oh, fantastic nice block. block! Oh, but an unsafe follow-up. So that is gonna make it incendiate to two. And it's also important to note, Salmon did not realize he was gonna do this first to ten, uh, until, like, five minutes ago. Yeah, it, it, it'll probably take him, like, two to three matches, you know, to just warm up, remember how to play the game. Yeah. Uh, Plus, and, it, and, it's going to take even longer if he decides to switch his characters every game. Oh yeah, that, that, that's what I was going to say, like, <laughs> with Sandman, every single, like, time he loses, that's a potential for, like, changing a character. Yeah. He knows a lot of characters on a very confident level. Oh, nice. Well, rising B. Yeah, we've already seen the Amy. Ooh, guess a Blade. Is that dead? I don't think it's dead because it's the open field. Oh, I actually... Uh, oh, I was oh, so close to being right. No, the run up 3B. Or the run into the 3B. That one, God, that, that sucks. That does a decent amount of damage, even after that, that lethal hit. But yeah, it's important to note that like we did already see the Amy. We're currently seeing the Siegfried. A good choice. It's still a relatively good choice against Sean Clock. But you could potentially see Cassandra. You could see Gro. We haven't seen the Aswell yet. A whole bunch oh, of stuff. De uh, definitely, I would think Mina. Would Mina, be my next sure. pick uh, against Sean Y, especially. Ooh, oh wow! Nice and duck that's gonna kill. Yeah, that's gonna kill for sure. It's like just enough. Yeah, gonna be really tough to deal with um, this character. Wow, we lied. Ooh. I apologize for lying. Uh, no, no. That's always the most frustrating thing about that CE is the fact that not only is it the best Punisher in the game, but it's just on top of it you have to deal with the follow-up. Oh yeah, definitely. It's uh. It's a very, very hard situation, and not even, like, hard to deal with it, you know, in a game-wise, it's also hard to deal with it psychologically. You're just like, yeah. oh, I have to make a decision right here, right now, or I'm gonna lose, and it's and it, and usually it ends up doing, like, a, a wrong decision. A disadvantageous position, yeah, there's so many ways yeah. to go wrong in that situation. A hopback yet again. <laughs> it's been doing a lot of hopbacks recently. And that's, oh, I thought that was dead. Well, I guess it's dead. Nice duck. <laughs> okay. I think one thing Sandman uh, can try to do to kind of switch it around is either start to like mash more of the fast buttons, maybe, you know, more 2Ks, more 2As, just to make sure that, to show Jordan that, hey, you know, you cannot just like steal your turn every single time, you, you, you kind of have to let me play. Yeah. Or he can go on more defense and just like, or you just play as well. Yeah, for sure. And by as well, we mean Mina. Oh, even better. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a it's a little bit tough, right? Because if he tries to pepper his Zhanghua opponent with small moves, he's effectively just going to get stuffed in a lot of situations uh, on on their own. So I feel like what he was trying to do was a more bob and weave and try to assume that Incendiate knows that Sandman is going to try and press buttons, therefore only try to wait to get a duck into a wall rising B to beat out the counter mash from Incendiate. I think that was the idea he was going for and it just didn't work out. Okay, nice, nice Mina. beginning. Oh, nice punish on uh, 1B. I definitely think this is one of the characters that Sandman has the highest likelihood of success with. Even in Parsec. Oh, almost a fantastic mm. punish on that jump B. It didn't pan out, and boy, how did it not pan out, Jesus Christ. Ugh. Catches that sidestep, and it was not, not even counter hit, just like caught him when he was moving on the side. Oh, nice. Yeah, kind of just assumed that, that 2 2B was going to be the thing that was going to be tough. Fantastic punch. Well, I was going to say fantastic punish on the 2 2B. I feel like more could have happened there. Uh. In, in my book, if you get a punish on T2P, it, it, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's, there you go. <laughs> might not be a fantastic punish, but it's just like, it is a punish. But nice full crouch. Uh, 1k. Might as well. Okay. Ah, Ooh. see, Incendiate's nice being a little bit mashy right now. Sandman's trying to, like, 
keep up with it and getting those really, really heavy hits that uh, that Mini can pull off, especially with regards to guard damage. I don't know how long you can pull it off. Still the best Soul Charge in the game, in my opinion. Nice Soul Charge. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just... It's just Wardex all over. <gasps> oh, nice duck oh, on no. the Incendious part. Oh no, I've seen Cindy pull this off so many times, it's so scary! Oh, Incendi is punish. really hard to kill when he has 1 HP. Yeah, it's he, mad he's, frustrating. <laughs> he, he's hard to kill when he has, you know, 100 HP, but when he has 1, it's even harder. Because uh, all he's trying to do effectively is just mash you to a certain degree where, like, he, he reads, like, two or three things just to get you into that scenario where you're dead to a CE. And then oh, it's yeah. it suddenly, even though you were in the driver's seat, you feel like you're completely out of control. You, you, you cannot press any buttons, and you just have to stand there and eat of those 2-2-Bs, two, two because if you're not going to block it, you're dead. Oh, no, no, I think he needs to do a Wall Rising Kane in order to get that punish, but something tells me the Salmon doesn't even get... He's not even bothered that these moves are getting blocked, because, I mean, they are effectively safe, and uh, uh, he's just getting guard damage. Yeah, sometimes, uh, when I play Killick, I would, like, Wild Rising B moves that I cannot Wild Rising B, right. uh, just to get a pushback. Mm -hmm. uh, and it doesn't bother me because they, they can't really punish it. Right. Classic T by Jordan. Plus, you can um, potentially catch like a uh, them disrespecting your frame advantage, uh, yeah. which is something that people do against pseudo longer range characters all the time anyway. So. He was just a bit out of range for that 1k. Oh, more full crash 1k k. Right, it's going to be unsafe yet again. So I have to go for a different kind of punish that time. Still a pretty good one. Nice, there it is. Does he decide to spend meter here? He decides not to. A uh, hop forward. Man, he's doing a lot of hops today. <laughs> this guy got hops. I, I, mean, I mean, that hop was kind of worth it, but at the same time got stopped by Crybaby, so, you know, nothing happened. But I don't think that was necessarily a bad hop. Hop on the no, no, wake up is, is... Oh, okay. I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Somehow I knew that it was coming. It's definitely and, and, something that Incendiary started doing quite a lot during COVID. It's just going with air and 3Bs, just because it is so hard, even in Parsec, it is so hard to be able to run up and block with that so consistently. Not to mention, okay, let's say, worst case scenario, same man go goes and runs up and blocks that. What is meaning of it? That's, that's K nothing. in the bad case scenario, <laughs> yeah, maybe K, and it's like at that point it's zero. You know, you don't, you don't yeah. care. Oh, fantastic for for B. Ooh, okay. Nice. Trying to do that hop forward nice. again. It just uh, that mix up isn't as good as I think. Sam is like I appreciated the first one when he when Cindy was on the ground. I don't know so much about that at one though. I mean, uh, the the one thing about hops. Oh, okay, that was a huge disrespect. He just yeah. like, nope, you cannot push buttons. Definitely oh, something you're gonna have to deal with. Mina. A lot. Of, oh, nice to to be. This sucks though. But You're dead to a cry, baby. Yeah, that's that's so much damage. No punish. Oh, he's dead. No, he's not. He immediately just get, tries to get out of dodge. Nah. Okay. Just while rising B, and he was in rage for a punish. I think sometimes it might happen. It sucked. If he just had a little bit more health, I think he would have been comfortable continuing on with the pressure. But because he was effectively dead to a cry, baby, he just felt like he had to get all the way out there. Yeah, Jean Hua is so sticky though that it it just doesn't matter. And and it was like awesome part about Jordan that he started playing you know patient like he plays impatient when he has HP uh, when, when his opponent has HP, but when his opponent doesn't have HP he started playing like super patiently and it worked right. out. Oh nice with punish. Yeah. I kind of wish that there was some way that he could have gotten like a two two B for like a ring out. Uh, with the meter, as opposed to putting him in a situation like this, which, okay, so there we go, 6 b and so getting him in this first round. It's gonna have okay. a pretty big meter disadvantage. Okay! Mina is pretty good at building meter. Uh, is that right? I don't know that. Uh, for example, like, some of her moves, like, 6 b build meter, uh, just on, on hit, or even on whiff, I believe. Oh, okay. Uh, Which is pretty good, like, because Mina tends to whip as like part of her mix-ups just in general because they recover so quickly. Oh yeah. Child's Knife cool. grab, and that's it. Yeah, the overwhelming amount of meter advantage that I think Incendiate had during that round was kind of the thing that sealed the deal. But these whip punishes are... Oh my god, really, really heavy. That's the second time he's gotten that crouch throw uh, situation. I think at this point, you know, Simon just tries to figure out what's <laughs> happening. Jordan is definitely, like, he has his own style that is very, very weird, and you, you would not, like, expect Shamwa to do necessarily those things that Jordan does very effectively, to be said. So it, it, it takes quite some time to 
get you to Nice round. That was such a risky low, though. I'm pretty sure if he blocked that, he was dead. <laughs> that that that's that's usually how it goes. Yeah, I guess that's just that's so that's just the way. Okay, it was definitely a fantastic round from Salmon. This is the closest set that we've had so far. Is he gonna use meter? He is. Is he gonna drop the combo though? He is. Oh, <laughs> I somehow whoa. knew that it was gonna happen. <laughs> It sucks, like, yeah. th that pretty much meant that that meter was, like, basically, oh, nice grab. He just, like, went hard on grabs that round, so that definitely is going to solidify him that first round, but or that first game, but something tells me that that style has an expiration date, because it's not like Incendiate Wishanghua is going to have a tough time punishing with grabs, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's going to be pretty hard once Incendiate realizes, but for the most well, part, he's taking advantage of the fact that Incendiate's just statue blocking him. The, the thing is, it, it, it's part of the game, right? Yeah. He will abuse grabs while they, you know, working, but then as soon as they stop working, he'll come back to, like, a different plan, try to mix it up, it's just, like a regular mix-up, right? And, and a grab is, like, a perfect mix-up tool, because the reward for docking is so high. Oh, that was... That was so scary. But yeah, I do want to mention, I really appreciate it. I think it's 6kk, the two hit uh, that ends in a high string that Mina is doing. I appreciate the fact that Salmon is doing that to try and get out of some of these auto GI attempts that Incendiate is doing. But boy howdy, he is not dealing with these crouch grab setups like well at all. He's eating them every time. Okay. Now Incendi is like very, very patient. Yeah. Like he does press a lot of buttons. Okay. Soul Very charge teamy. again. Jump into 1B. Oh wow. Into Look 1B good. again. I can't believe that crybaby worked there. That's so unfair. Yeah, that, 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 that was that was stupid. Okay, and 6-8. Lethal hit. Guys, this just ends. Sandman's looking good. Yeah, Mina Soul Charge is pretty good. <laughs> that was that, that was that was one Mina Soul Charge that literally did the entire round. <laughs> God I hate that soul charge. Nice punish. Oh. Into soul charge of his own? Underrated soul charge in my opinion. I, I think one of the best Setups. things about it is that everybody thinks it's so bad, nobody labs it. And just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then they see it and just like, what, what, what's happening? Oh, he got lucky he was airborne. Is he gonna spend Soul Charge to try and get out of the situation? No, he's gonna stay patient. He had a potential whip punish opportunity, but he gets a grab instead. Okay, nice now he's charge. gonna spend meter. I appreciate this. I think this makes sense. Even if it doesn't work, which it doesn't, it effectively, for one, Incendia had to spend a bar in order yeah. to get that round. So... You spending a bar in this situation, uh, for them spending a bar, is kind of like a win in your book. Uh, so, I, I still respect the Soul Charge even though it didn't work out. It, it, was, it was like the only way he could win, and at that yeah. point, like a win is a win. If he could have won, that, that would be great. For if sure. he lost, that's not a big deal. That's yeah. so, so no reason to like not spend a Soul Charge there. Oh, I think he could have still. <laughs> oh wow, that <laughs> you gotta respect it, Jordan. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> that's the second time okay. he's ever getting that vertical hit. That does so much, and that's it. He Ooh, decides not to Okay, oh, okay. and Sammy being a little bit greedy there, but in Sandman didn't really have the meter to wholeheartedly punish in that situation. But we're going to do with uh, two bars to one in this situation. If I'm Sandman, I'm thinking about spending bar kind of immediately. But it doesn't look like Sandman's going to do that. Yeah, okay. He eats like okay. half life. That kind of sucks. And, and, and all the half life is just like from pokes, you yeah. know, and it just sucks. Okay. There was one uh, good full crouch. He kind of noticed that Jordan was not ready to block it yet because uh, last round he ran up, you know, while rising B, and now just using full crouch one case. Nice, oh, nice duck. He tried to get a wall rising B. He just got like a like standing oh, to crouch no. B or something like that. Okay, here we go. C E versus Soul Charge. Which one is going to be the victor? The more so time intense. goes on, the better it's going to be for Incendiate. He's just trying to buy time. It does oh, not work, though. He nice challenges disrespect. the frame advantage, yeah. And Incendiate did it a couple of times when he would do 4-4-A hold into 4-4-A hold, like, you know, twice in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Sandman never disrespected it. So at that point, I think Incendiate just, like, decided that it's free and just Welcome Sandman just, you know, mystery, mashed when it was important. Yeah, definitely a very solid bet. What? What? All well, right. Uh, okay then. <laughs> I've never seen. I have seen Jordan play Tira, Geralt, Tubi, Talum, Amy. I don't think I've ever seen Amy. A little bit. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen this. 
Yeah, I've never seen Jordan play Zass. Uh, Zass is kind, kind of, of going through some people right now. Dre, I think, is playing him a little bit. Obviously, Woes with that fantastic Zass beating Yototo in the Zass mirror. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Nice. Oh, nice punish. He's not really going to be able to punish some of these minus 12 situations all that well. Sandman, that is. Yeah. I think uh, one thing that, uh, as a Mina player, he can start doing is, instead of going for K, try to go for um, 2A. That was a fantastic sidestep, by the way. Yeah. Fantastic that was, sidestep. That was, that was really I good. I apologize for Britt cutting you off. I just thought, no, no, wow, you're that's you're really you're good. good. <laughs> oh, nice for K. Oh, okay. Nice for K. Into a grab. This set is weird. <laughs> it, 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 it is very weird. It this is, is almost I, as many characters in one set as an Iron Man competition. <laughs> That's kind of what you expect out of Sandman, though. Oh, uh, whiffs. Okay, Jordan so he probably play, had. Yeah, it's saying it just it plays almost as many characters. It is, uh, but only just like online characters, which is effectively right. That's a grab. Uh, Insidia goes much more for grabs, which is yes. pretty good because Zaz kind of makes you stand still. Yes, you know, with sure. the, with the three A and, and and all of that stuff, you just don't want to move. You just don't want to duck randomly. So grabs are kind of his best low at that point. Yeah, I definitely agree. He's not necessarily a character that has fantastic mid low mix ups. So it's definitely a, a, a more pressure based kind of game plan than it would be a mix up based kind of game. Plan. Whenever that's the case, you end up grabbing a lot. Frankly, it's Soul Calibur, so you end up grabbing a lot of. Oh yeah, and just like abusing six six A because. Again, what he gonna do? K? Who cares about K? Oh, <laughs> yeah, nice he's really abusing the 6 a like a whole lot. It's kind of crazy. I wonder Ooh, if... Ooh, the cheese! Nice unblockable. Still not dead yet. Yeah, oh, dude, even if you got deep. that... C no, yeah, he was dead to that CE. Because of how deep yellow he was. Oh yeah, for sure. Kind of difficult to spend CE for a, character, for a player who's not necessarily like wholeheartedly comfortable playing Zoss, uh, just because of like the restrictions of when you can use that CE nowadays. If you don't have curses, it's kind of it's rough to try and use it. I I would actually say against Mina, just because she doesn't have you know fast highs. Well, yeah, K she has K, but who uses oh, K different. outside of like you know poke? Not sure, not a poke sure. outside of punish. So at that point, Mina is usually more. <laughs> Oh, okay. Sorry, that, that, that sidestep. It's not very often that Mina sidestep gets caught like that. That was kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. Nice to say. Is he really going to do this? I still have that counter CE. Yes, that's exactly what he was hoping to get, but he still doesn't get like the full punish that he was hoping for. Nice. <laughs> nice. 1k, 1k! <laughs> oh, he tried to critical edge, but it just got stuck. Oh, this is so great. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, you can't, you can't use the CE that way. But that being said, it's two rounds to two rounds, and Sandy has a meter advantage. Okay, so okay. this is the meter advantage she has. Let's see if he can do anything with the soul charge. Already gets a I, good hit. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I think Zaz's soul charge is very, very new friendly. You know, you have, like, instant mix-up. You have a mix-up yes. between 3A, K, B, I guess, and 1A stuff. Right. So just, like, you, you don't have to think. You just get in there, mix them up. Nice 3B. I don't think he. No, I don't think so. Be able to make it <laughs> got a soul charge. You got a soul charge. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but you're dead to a CE, but you have mostly break attacks. Okay, this is nice. what Incendiate was trying to get in the first place. Wow! Really? Oh, no. <laughs> but he gets it. Oh, wow. What a challenge on that 66A. That was insanity. What? I can't believe you're able to do that there. That's so crazy to me. You know, the sometimes it happens that quickly. Wow! Break the rules of the game. Well, you know what? That's I what he did. Break he broke. He, that, that was that was I a broken care. game right there. <laughs> oh, oh, this um, this is kind of funny. This stage is kind of good for Mina yeah, and for Zas at the same time, same point. It's just like, and 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 they like Zas wants to be to his back to the ring edge, and Mina wants Zas back to the ring edge. So it's just like. I would it's, say it's a funny situation. Yeah, I would say at this point, I think it's more Mina favor. Like ever since the ring outs, if I'm gonna be totally honest, uh, okay. I think Zoss is still kind of crazy with some of the damage he gets in certain spots. But overall, because his ring out game is no longer a mix, because there's like a hard way to just ensure you're not gonna get hit by the reverse ring out. I think Zoss right. is not that strong of a character. Like, uh, the, the, the I, super cheap stuff that used to really frustrate me about the character now do, does not frustrate me anywhere near as much. I, I, I would say he is 
you know, he became, uh, um, for the lack of better word, I would say honest. You know, he will get the damage, more, he's, yeah. he's still, like, a good mix-up character by the edge, just because how much damage he can get out of the grab. But at the same time, it's not like, oh, I got him, GG's, you know, good yeah, games, yeah, yeah. shake your head. It's, 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 it's more honest at the it's, it's not as much eye-rolling as there oh, used yeah. to be. Now, frankly speaking, if you get reverse rung out by Zas uh, with your back to the edge, I do believe it is actually your fault. Oh yeah. I did sure, not feel sure. that way before. It was just a straight-up roll of the dice and it was mad frustrating. It pissed me off, but uh, it looks like Sandman's just, man, every single CE has just not been working out for Incendiary right now. I... Don't think that this pick works. Yeah. Uh, to be fair. But hey, it's uh, a it's an impromptu first to ten. They can do whatever they want to. It's still fun. He's got two yeah, curses. Sure. He could potentially kill well, I mean now he can kill with anything. <laughs> <laughs> the the not immediate slash not fully charged up three three A B annihilated right there. Yeah, it's, 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 it, 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 it. It's oh, like, that's it, it's, what he's trying to do. He's trying to do an auto GI. Well, it's not working. <laughs> it, it's like that meme with a SpongeBob. Did you see my trick? Want to see me do it again? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, six times in a row. Why not? Yeah, I think okay, Sam is just going for like this hella optimal like version of auto GIing it, where it's just like, yeah, it doesn't look like you have that right now. So I don't know what to tell yeah. you. Just oh, do he, the auto GI after the string. Yeah. Sure. Like why not? <laughs> Actually, I think that auto GI is punishable, but in yeah, Sandia, twelve. Yeah. That's punishable. Gets the punch. Okay, nice, nice 12. Uh, good cold charge. I, I like the idea. For sure. And now he's done. Oh. He should be- Yes! Yep. 1B. Yeah, nice that's spot. about as easy of a punish as you can possibly get. Yeah, I, I, like, for a moment I was like, well, he can whip punish with, like, 6 6B. Might be 2-1, but the, yeah, 1B. 1B just Yeah, 6-6B like. six, six could have done it. He may have even been- Because you have, like, Welcome to the stage I think, like, 40 frames to punish a whip Zassi. He is out there for a long, long time. So, oh, yeah. I think you could have even done, like, a run-up to 2 b <laughs> to be honest. Sam, man, you can't change characters. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, this is a character that I have seen in San Diego play, and frankly speaking, I don't think a lot of people have seen his Geralt. I honestly, even if he gets beat up, because I do think this is a frustrating matchup for Geralt, I think that uh, Incendia's Geralt's kind of nice, to be honest. Uh, Incendia's Geralt is definitely nice. I got destroyed by him a lot uh, when we played uh, last time. Just like the thing is. Something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the thing is, I don't necessarily think that. That's oh, out. that's a ring out. Yeah, that's that's out. it. <laughs> um, Does not take a lot of practice to get that just ring down. It is very uh, oh easy yeah. just ring. For sure. Uh, I don't think Geralt is necessarily that bad versus Vina. One thing that you kind of have to use is armor. Just like, oh, the, the first hit just went through her. Uh, yeah, that was a bit weird. <laughs> so. In a way, when she tries to like keep you away with like you know, six six B six A stuff like that, you can just six A plus B raw armor, and get in there almost for free, unless she right. like. Oh, no, that's not gonna work. It's gonna get a second game. Fantastic nice. punish, getting the optimal nice minus punish. 16. Yeah. I do want to mention uh, to Zephyrkai, I do apologize. We did have uh, Tenchi lined up here. We only got like one, one and a half games, and unfortunately the connection was just not working for him. He was getting dropped frames or potentially a variety of different issues, and he didn't feel comfortable going forward with the uh, with the match. It is Costa Rica to Virginia, so I guess I can't be entirely 100% surprised, but unfortunately that's the situation that we're in. So this is an impromptu first attempt. Nice job by Incendia, just yes. like, getting in, staying in, and then just like, you know, when I'm in Mina's face as Geralt, there's no reason not to sidestep Welcome that much, because right. yeah, she can 2A, she can 6-6-A, it's kinda good, kinda not that- oh, okay, that's interesting. I like this idea, um, at I least, I mean, my Geralt's not really all that great anymore, um, I find playing- Geralt against I-10 characters, very frustrating. Oh yeah, that, that's that's one thing I, I've been saying when I was playing Geralt, that the I-10 characters, maybe besides Taki, gives Geralt a lot of trouble. Yeah, it's frustrating. Ooh, that's Ooh, this nice. is a lot of damage. This, this is, like, is a lot of damage. Guys, just so you know, Geralt is notoriously a very low damage character. The ways that you can give him a lot of damage is post-GI, End of sentence. <laughs> that's uh, that's oh, kind of it. Oh my god, speaking oh, of high damage. 
wall combos as well. Uh, yeah, wall combos is lethal hits. Uh, the, the newer ones, you know. Uh, yeah, one in lethal hit, soul charge lethal hit, but you kind of can play around them. Yeah, yeah, and it's just like... That's what makes Geralt such a, actually, in my opinion, high... You know, a character for only high-skilled players. Yes. Th there is no 2-2-B that does oh, 80 damage. Oh, that's that. A okay. very satisfying background, to say the least. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm Geralt, um... If you haven't seen Geralt all that much recently, honestly, I think this is the character that suffers the most from online gameplay, because he is a very low damage, intensely timing-based character, oh, where yeah. you're going to have to be correct a lot of times and have the timing of your opponent down pat. Timing down on your opponent is virtually impossible in an online situation because the timing constantly changes, not because the opponent is changing it, but because your connection to said opponent is changing. So. You don't really see it all that often, and the example I always give is when there were just traditionally online type tournaments, Link played Geralt literally zero times. The millisecond parsec became a thing again, we were seeing the Geralt kind of pretty consistent. Gets a punish. Nice punish. Not uh, the most optimal punish, it is a 14, but oh yeah. uh, gets a punish nonetheless. No, oh, you, yeah. there's a second follow up to that, my guy! He can get his guard <laughs> broken. Okay, nice sidesteps. And Cindy, you're pretending like Geralt is X. Yeah, I'm sorry, your sidestep is not all that intimidating. You don't have a 2-2-B, my guy. <laughs> well, technically, he, he, you know, Cassandra's horizontals are not that great. I would, I don't want to say they are bad, but they are not that great. Yeah, they're not that much damaging at the very least. Yeah. yeah, so just raw sidestepping, no punish. Yeah, that kind of sucks. He, he's gonna have to potentially deal with this guard crush. CE? Oh, I think I would have oh, CE, nice. but still a very fantastic punish. And that's it. And he gets the, <laughs> yeah, he gets the, uh, the force, uh, divine force. Yeah, oh, that's it. not really, I, I uh, thought, respecting that. I, I actually thought it was only two rounds. I missed a round at 10 <laughs> yeah. one. You know, I'm a professional commentator, so I don't, you know... We do a do lot of professional like, stuff, and yeah. no, I don't pay any of my commentators. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. If yeah, that cancel in, is pretty good. If you're interested in, in uh, commentators getting uh, getting paid, uh, don't forget the donation <laughs> for, uh, for for the Parsec servers, but that's a long oh, way off. That's really funny. Yeah, the, my remark for, for professional was more like, I don't do any errors because I'm a professional, exactly. right? But <laughs> yes, as am I. It's <laughs> obvious. We, may, we make no mistakes. Man, just oh, challenging nice, with that 1A. Nice. Gee whiz. I, I think Geralt 1A is really good. Yes. Uh, especially... It's kind of like Kilik 4A, where you intentionally put yourself in a minus situation and, and be like, hey, hit me. Dare, I dare you to hit right. me. And then you like auto GI or something like that. Nice conversion. It's also just stuff. the fact that like you have so many opportunities. The fact that you have like a pseudo cancel on the additional piece of the string that the opponent has to respect. And for somebody like Incendiate, he is able to hit him from that to a pretty significant oh, yeah. degree. So if the opponent has two bars, which they almost inevitably will simply because it's Geralt, so you have to be wary about when you spend your meter. Fantastic 3B nice. CE punish. That was really good. I mean, obviously you're going to be used to that kind of punish when you're playing Zhang Hua, but that is yeah. a 3B that is... Probably like twice the size, probably like twice the range of uh, Zhang Hua 3B, so still really good nonetheless. Oh, wow, that was just enough. Yeah. Oh, that's like, a lethal hit, that's what oh. I was talking about. If you have the ability he to might... hit confirm it, you're going to do it all the time. He oh, techs no, up and no, gets no, the additional no. 1AA, that's no good. No, again, you can get a better punish than that, you're just putting yourself at like neutral there, I think. What? Oh, okay. Just like, it's time to, you, you know, do the worst. Animated. Move. I like <laughs> yeah. this. Throw. I like this animation. Like that. That throw is so cool. She just stabs you at the toe. Right. And the fact that there's a little bit of damage when she takes uh, her her sword out of the foot. I like that too. Oh yeah. And you're dead. No, you're not. I like. Nice break. Uh, uh, one thing. I think you tried to R I there. And it didn't yeah. He probably did. Uh, I I always do that, and I always like. No matter connection, I always try to let you know G I R I that. Yeah. Just to get into my muscle memory, so... It's but so it's tough online. online. Yeah, it's so oh, yeah. tough. Now, this is Parsec, and both players are very close to the server, so I'm assuming it's pretty good, but it's as good as we can get, but it's not offline. Right. Max right. damage. Gets the mix. Simon goes for a lot of, like, Wild Rising K? No, not Wild Rising K, but, like, Wild Rising 3K or something like that, yeah. and, um... 9K K? That is minus 20, if I remember <laughs> correctly. And, yeah, the and flash kick, just, yeah. 
doesn't punish it. Uh, he could 6 BB it for sure, but... I honestly maybe he doesn't like, know! I feel like, honestly, Incendi could do well at um, using his bar oh, a little nice. bit better. The fact that he has two bars at the end of the round, frankly... Oh, that's not dead, but that's... Boy, howdy. That's a lot of damage. Ooh, goes for the super extension, the soul charge extension on top of it. He has to find fours, so this could potentially... Wow, he just oh, gets wow. out of that grab! Nice 6 BB. No punish. That He could actually punish that, but that's super hard. Nice GI. Oh, nice GI. That actually saved him from guard break, I think. He, now he, he might have get a guard break. He suddenly has a bar again. He does have All the right. Divine Force. It's not going to kill if he ends up pulling it off, but it doesn't. Oh, nice. Like, he's still alive. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The additional damage and lethal hits that Geralt gets when his opponent's the Soul Charge doesn't really matter all that much anymore. Yeah, okay. Difficult nice to deal 3A. with that 3A. That, that, that is a yeah. very difficult situation to deal with with regards to a 3A in that spot. Yeah, uh, the Geralt is kind of like smaller Zaz, you know? Like, yes. he can contain movements so well. Um, better movement, fight. better grab range on top of it, too. But significantly yeah. less damage on the combo. Ah, oh, oh, doesn't no. get it. Yeah, you get a fantastic punish there. Divine Forest to boot. Once oh, again, nice. Incendiate not <laughs> respecting that situation. One a wall rising B is so good. It, it is. It, it it's kind of like it isn't is kill. <laughs> yeah, it, it it's it's one of those things. But then you have a mix up. You have a mix up between you know yeah. like not doing anything, doing auto GI, uh, Yirden, the cancel into oh, another nice. stance. Yeah. One a like Harry if you really want to go balls out. Yeah. it's... It's it's All kinds of not stuff. bad. It's just yeah. like you have to get a read on your opponent. Samling is dealing with these. Uh, oh, that's it. Yeah, I was gonna say he's dealing with these options on the uh, the 4KK like a li like kind of okay and kind of not, and so it's it's kind of screwing him up. Um, there are a handful of ways that you can like a lot of step ducking kind of stuff can uh, can help you out in those spots, but uh, perhaps he's not wholeheartedly comfortable against the Geralt matchup. It's a parry. Nice. I still remember the days where that like, would have definitely been a ring out. Oh, that would like you can run for half an hour, yeah, and then do the combo. That was that was ridiculous. He does have the one B lethal, oh, nice. I'm pretty sure. I I think so too. Ooh, nice. Kind of wish the punish was better, but he gets a punish nonetheless. He does not get a punish there though. Wow, oh, jump kicks! Wow. Okay. Just staying solid. That that's how Incendia wins. He gets like a huge life lead by Sandman trying to you know like. Abuse frames or challenge at certain times, and then he just like plays super solid. And yeah, that's where that John like, Walks frames comes out in full force. I think that actually is. A no, it's not. Yeah, he just like, oh wow, that was like the one time that Incendio was like, surely he's not gonna tech this time, uh, and he ended up doing. Oh, nothing on that clash. I think that was a uh, two through six B. He could have gotten a ring out in that situation. No, no punish. punish there. Well, he uses the, effectively the punish to try and get a yeah. better stage position, which which is not a bad yeah, idea. Yeah, that's fine. And he he has a life uh life lead, three solid life lead. Nice six B. All right. Um, two bars to two, two bars. Technically, a little bit of guard damage on Sam inside. Geralt, not exactly a character that does much with that though. Nice soul charge. Uh, yep. Oh, he tried oh. to get that one B lethal hit. Got divine force. Did he try? Oh to... no, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. He tried to A plus B there. I think, okay, what happened was Sandman did the 236K and tried to complete the string, but what he ended up getting was 236K, wait a little while, and then an A plus B. And that's effectively yeah. what cost him the counter hit. So that's kind of an unfortunate situation, but 7 to 5 now. Maybe these are the characters that we're going to stay. No, no, never mind. <laughs> As well? Maxi? No way. Okay, I don't. Think I mean, so. I get. No, I've seen him play Maxi. Anybody can play Astaroth. Okay, yeah, he goes with Astaroth. Honestly, I, I, I feel can... like Aswell does pretty well against Geralt. Aswell, I I think so too. Uh, that that was actually like season one, early season. Uh, actually, not season two, but season one classic, right? Link yes. versus Blue God, yeah. Aswell versus uh, the Geralt. Uh, so it, it could have gone either way. Astra, not I even gonna think... go for the just frame. <laughs> it's just like you're gonna attempt it. Yeah, I, I think it's it's an Astra favor. Versus um, Geralt. I yeah, I'm trying to think. Well, okay. So anytime you talk about Astaroth, you have to think like, how does Geralt deal with the grabs? Um, and I guess he does like the fully optimal way of punishing a whipped command grab would be a 6BB. That is yeah. not the right combo there, but you're gonna end up killing him anyway. 
And Astaroth, I mean, with Astaroth, if you're right, you're right and you win. If you oh, yeah. if you're wrong, you lose. I mean, he is he is an all-in guessing game. And and the 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 thing is with his uh, ability to just like you know generate uh, a mix-up out of nowhere with a, like even with four A right like Geralt is notorious for having good pokes, but Ashar has a four A yeah. that will allow him to start his guessing game. So, I'm trying to think. In this situation, so let's say Incendiate loses, he may play Geralt for like another game. Uh, I can imagine we would see... I could... You know what? I'm going to take a bet. If Incendiate loses and he does decide to change characters, I'm going to say he's going to go with Tom. Tom? <laughs> yes. I'm going to say Tom. Uh, I'm locking actually, in my answer. <laughs> is, is it, isn't Tom like considered bad for Asta? I'm not sure. I'm. No all I know is... Expert. This is all I know. Okay. Uh, for oh, sure, nice duck. I have seen... Oh, he tries to go for oh, the no. absolute most optimal punish in the history of the world, but okay. So Sandman's gonna get that game. Please, please, Jordan. Don't be listening to the stream and please tell me I'm right. You're gonna go Tom. Okay, go Tom, right? uh, just because you made an assumption, I'll yeah. I'll say he will go... Let's see, Amy. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Uh, and then. Uh, no, nah, okay, oh, no, so that, that doesn't count. That doesn't count because he's decided not to. Uh, did he just get soul of somebody? Like soul of Geralt or soul of Asta? <laughs> that just goes to show how how few times the gar the character is played in a uh, in a match on a server. That's hilarious. Oh, nice. Uh, and a nice kind of bad punish. Ideally, if you don't have meter, uh, you you can still do six BB. That does. All right, damage. But if you go want to go fully optimal, you can 4KK A for like a meter less optimal punishment. Um, yep. It's important to remember Astaroth technically has some sort of weird oh, prone nice. stance, coupled with the fact that he can uh, he can get up a lot farther away than most other characters. So those kinds of things do not work. And man, oh man, Insignia has been about like one for eight when it comes to breaking command grabs so far. He has not been right on virtually any of them. And seeing a car uh, a player who at one point annihilated me in a tournament because I couldn't break CS, this is very satisfying to watch. <laughs> And, and to be honest, Insidia was not breaking grabs this whole day. Like, oh, really? even okay, against yeah. Mina. It's, so it's, it's, it's just so much of a bigger deal against a character like this. He's not getting Astra. any of them, my dude. <laughs> not making the back grabs, like, at all. And even by the way, the wall is just yeah. the most important. <laughs> you're, I think, I think you're literally was dead. First bull rush was. Oh, okay. That's nice. a front escape. He still didn't break back. What a rude dude. Really, really good uh, punish. Oh, we're trying oh, to go for that. Horrible punish, but you know, at least he didn't get killed. So oh, that's this fine. is a good point. I totally forgot about this. Asta is a meter freak and constantly uses soul charge, and Geralt is just gonna punish him mad heavily every time he does that. So the fact that Astaroth is like one of the best characters, close to Nightmare, with regards to building meter, that's kind of like a a null set game because Geralt's gonna get so much damage if you end up being wrong whilst you're in soul charge. So, okay, there's a part of this that's like, I understand why he's sticking with Geralt. That's, that's terrible punish. What are you doing? <laughs> that's so bad. That yeah. that thing, like, you cannot crouch grab the Earden, and Earden will not work on a crouch grab. You can just get, like, a 2-2-B. <laughs> just, like, do a 2-2-B. Okay, nice. I think Incendia figured something out. If he's docking constantly, yeah. or mashing, Asta has no time to grab him. Oh, oh no! No! A oh, terrible button! Why? And you showed that you had the lethal hit! Yeah, now no, you're gonna no. start doing the lethal hit. Boo, Sandman, boo! <laughs> no punish? Not even attempt to punish? I understand not attempting to punish a 12 with, uh, with Astaroth. That can be tough. I think, I think, in my opinion, you still <laughs> have to go for- Oh, that was nice. Just, just going full stuff. Oh. Yeah, now you're gonna eat it. Decides to effectively drop the last part. I actually kind of understand that, trying to get something bigger there. I, 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 to be Ooh, okay. fair, it doesn't seem like Sandman knows all the combos, so <laughs> I, I would just think, think that he just dropped it. Oh, that was that was a perfect uh, RE. Twice but a day. Again, you, you I'm gonna be honest. Something tells me this isn't Sandman's main character. Yeah, it's. I'm just throwing I, that out there. I took a bet on the Talum, and it really didn't work at all. So now I'm taking a bet on this. That is plus, I think. Yeah, you're not, not going to be able to, to challenge the bubble there. Bubble's such a cool move. Okay, he yes. goes straight to character select. 
I like that Jordan stick with the Geralt. That was that was pretty good decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really seemed like uh, the reasons why he stuck with Geralt didn't come out in the first game, and so he just decided to go with the second game. Okay, so Geralt versus Aswell. The way that I feel about this is that technically on paper, I think Geralt does fine in this matchup, but it is so goddamn exhausting because you just have to be correct so many times against your Aswell opponent. And you can be, but effectively Aswell gets to do all kinds of crazy stuff everywhere all the time, and the Geralt player effectively just has to be the police and just uh, just knock down every single thing. But you are constantly being the reactive player as opposed to Aswell just being wild and crazy about it. And, and a lot of times, the games go, go to the point where did you guess right enough times? It's, yeah. It's, 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 it's a coin flip. I, I don't want to say it's just a coin flip, but there's a lot of coin flipping involved in this, like, w whenever you're fighting Aswell, no matter what character you fight. But. Yeah, effectively, so, I feel it's a lot like, um, the thing that I always say is, like, y you really have to alter your playstyle depending on what your Aswell opponent's weapon is, right? Oh, I nice. think that's dead, isn't he it? He might be dead? I think he I is, think he yeah. Is, yeah. No, he's not! <laughs> the string that never works worked! Gee whiz. But the thing I was going to say is that, like, it's whenever Aswell is an axe, which they pretty much always are nowadays, you pr basically always want to be the person who's in the driver's seat, right? Because the second that you allow the axe Aswell to try to set up his mix-up game going, you're almost undoubtedly going to lose, unless you're just a god among mixes, right? Geralt kind of has to allow him that. I don't think Geralt's the kind of character that can play at a range where he can play the lane game against Axe Aswell, nor can he really mash in Aswell's face. So we kind of just have to be correct a whole lot of times. My approach to Axe Aswell, especially if I have like like one HP life lead, I'm staying full screen away. Yeah. Like, yeah, he can 6-6 six, six BB, but that at that point, that's only it. And, you know, I can sidestep that and I can like at least try to control his approach. But no, if, if he's an Axe, I'm full full screen away i'm on the other stage i'm in the other game i'm not coming back to him it all changes when he has a life lead because at that point you know i i, I cannot leave him out nice soul charge i kind of like it yeah i appreciated the fact that he's taking advantage of the fact that as uh, sandman is not really like punishing that correctly i think that's dead that's almost assuredly dead yeah so are we sticking with this i can see him okay hold on let me think um i'm changing my answer because this is obviously a totally different character assuming right. incendiate changes I can, I can see 2B. I'm locking in 2B. He's I, changing. I, 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 He's changing. Please, come on. I, Please tell me. I actually right. will agree with you. I, I can definitely see 2B. Uh, Jordan 2B is not bad, like, at all. No, no, it's not. And, uh... Damn it. Okay. Boo! Well, it, it, it is kind of like... Yeah, it's sense, nearing right? the end, and like, yeah, you I mean... Oh, like Aswell, I think this is a terrible stage for Aswell to play on right now. He needs more space. He needs to get out of there. But I feel like I'm is just going to overwhelm him with a lot of stuff. At the same point, like, the axe low That's into true. the yeah. wall flat. Oh, oh nice. Uh, maybe huge this is why he wanted this. Damage. So he could just do stuff like that. Yeah, Axe Aswell's not going to be able to deal with anything. Like, yeah, this is going to be so tough. This is so much damage. This thing doesn't scale at all. Nice combo. And Shao nice is kind of known, you know, for doing like low amount of damage until she does it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> until like, she's off of right. Stuff like that. Guessing correctly about a GI slash reversal it whenever uh, she's in stance is also a massive amount of damage. They just like the combos just don't scale. Fantastic punish. Jordan immediately guessing correctly on virtually nice. every axe mix up the second he goes to his main character. I, I think that's just the um, familiarity with the situation, yeah, right? You, you At this point, you don't even think about what you're doing. You're more thinking about what's your opponent doing because what you're doing, it's already locked in your muscle memory yeah. and in your brain. So just like, you feel more freely. I a, also a, think that Zhang Hua is better at playing reactively against Aswell than Gary is. Is Oh yeah, Because you are up close and your options are so much better when you're oh. in Aswell's face that it, it works out. And yeah, you did kind of, unfortunately kind of drop that situation. Tried to get like the most optimal punish in the history of the planet. It didn't work out, so we're going to go with the CE. A little bit nice. too many uppercuts. Not dead. He does still have spear. 
So he does oh. have such brilliance. Well, that's it. <laughs> and that, that's again, yeah, just like, just like that. Kind of wish he used meter, huh? I think he's forgetting that he's not playing against Gerald anymore. You can use meter more freely now, and especially with Aswell, nice that's important to use. Definitely, the, one of the best soul charges. Very, very oppressive, and it, it's one of the soul charges where you don't really have something you can get, uh, you know, punished for heavily. Oh, that's yeah, that sucks. Oh, nice break. <laughs> oh, doesn't see E there, but he's oh, gonna definitely it. kill him there. Yeah. And see, this is the thing. Like, I know that they have like the backwards like mix ups, but it's just like incendi. Jean Hua can throw out just so many buttons in that spot to where at best let's say you do provide the Aswell player with some sort of an opportunity to do Axlo to get like the reverse wall combo it's still not going to work out because she can press so many buttons that you'll practically just clash with her and then it's just like ugh oh yeah so tough decides to go with Aswell I think he was contemplating going with Mina but it's 9-7 and this ended up being an incredibly close set of character roulette it, it was insanely fun though, yeah. like watching them pick different characters. I kind of agree with Sandman, uh, at this point you lock into the character, you might as well pick a character that is like probably the best, your best character and probably like best in all the matches matchups possible, right? Yeah. You need to win three uh, games, so yeah. pick the character that you feel most comfortable trying to uh, pull that off. Man, Sandman has just been right about like everything in that. He was wrong about everything in Axe when he was Geralt. He is right about all of them when he's X. Crazy stuff. Nice challenge with 6B. Oh, <laughs> no punish. Insignia really trying to make a statement here. Is that dead? It's not dead. But you have no weapon now. Okay, here we go. You got Spear again. Spear has really not been working out, though. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. I, I, think, I think one thing that Spear... That he kind of goes for that uh, shield uppercut just a bit too much. Yeah, uh, I think in that round, he was trying to go with the low in that spot, and I don't know, Incendiate seems to be really on top of whatever adaptations Sandman is going for for simple mixes. Oh yeah, and one thing I, I think Sandman ca can kind of try to do is start using more grabs again. Uh, oh, for sure. In, in those spots where, where, where he wants to... Uh, Uppercut in his pier. Oh, nice AAB. Yeah, if Incendi nice is just going to stand there and not actually, like, do anything, you might as well, like, in continue to incorporate that kind of thing. So that's going to be the second round. Incendi is one round away from solidifying this. Right, I'm not wrong? Okay. <laughs> yeah. But also, again, I think something tripped Samin up with regards to the fact that he went from Geralt to Zhang Hua because we have not seen, like, any Aswell Soul Charge. Like, none. And that's a gigantic part of the character. Is that nice? Now? I think, it, oh, I it's think totally that nice. is. Yeah, for sure. Okay, well, there's that round. <laughs> very, very good. Very solid, you know, sidestep. I've been getting hit by slide kicks a lot recently trying to yeah, sidestep them, so it's, sometimes it's, it's not as easy as it looks, but like solid, solid sidestep. It would uh, be unfair for me to say that I'm getting hit by them recently, I just get hit by them. <laughs> That's <laughs> just the way it is. Oh, the first time Alpharka actually worked, but that was kind of like a counter hit. I appreciate the fact that he went for that like backwards jump. Kinda, even though the mix-up didn't work, uh, I appreciate the fact that he got more distance between him and a Jean Bob So there you go. And two rounds to two. You're gonna have double CE versus double as well soul charge, but it is important that Salmon actually use his meter, which again he hasn't really been doing ever since Garrett was on the screen. <laughs> okay, there you go. Just, just an X low. That's catching that two two B. Yes, such a good idea. Okay, uh, nice challenge. And see, that this was, is the thing: important. is that if he loses that X low, he just doesn't have a weapon. He's gonna have to spend meter in that situation to get away. No punishment. It, it forces him to use the meter, right? So yeah, exactly. I I, I, I would say it's good. The end of this match, I have something I want to talk about. Hopefully, I remember. But I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, so close. Oh, nice. Place the grab. Okay. Oh, no. Here's the first one. Fantastic Oki in this situation. Something tells me that Sydney is going to go over something relatively slow, so we can potentially set up yet another two to B into a CE. Yeah. Smart. Okay, nice one. Charge. Okay. Nice damage. damage. Ooh, tried to catch that backdash, not so much. Oh, not no. in range for it to get the full connection. Okay, uh, here we go. That's the definitely not going to kill. Yeah, the Azul Soul but Charge is not going to be dead, but you have this fantastic Oki here. Oh, he gets break. Oh, <laughs> classic. Sam, man, that's it. 
keeps the nine set eight. alive nine to eight. This is one of the closest sets that War of the Roses ever had. <laughs> very, very clutch. Nice job. But the thing that I wanted to mention, you know how like, so Sandman was in the first Soul Charge, right? And he wasn't really doing a whole lot. He was kind of like just walking around at like a far enough screen. I would bet all the money in my pockets against all the money in your pockets. He was trying to do the Soul Charge CP. That, that, that was what, what, what was I was thinking, just like... For sure. And and, and, and Jordan whiffed, and he, and, and, and he had the opportunity. opportunity. That's why you can kind of see Sam and kind of like his character rocking a little bit, and just yeah. it didn't come out, and that sucked. <laughs> that would be so cool to see, though. Like, that's one of the... Oh, nice punish on yeah. the uh, AB. Very easy punish for Zhang Hua for, uh, for the sword AB, for sure. Assuming you don't want to spend meter. Right. Yeah, that, that's one of the coolest C's in the game. Uh, and, uh, obviously, the, the, the win quote, just like, consider yourself saved, yep. is just like, it's just too good. It's very appropriate for the end of a set like this. Oh, yeah. It's immensely appropriate. I, I like how Sandman start playing a bit more actively. Like, obviously, Shanwa has a better and faster button, but Sandman being challenging uh, Incendia much more than he used to, and it works out, and it just... And also, gets hit. I gotta say, it's very interesting to me that, like, we've seen basically, practically, no sword as well. Like, that's really not been a thing so far for Sandman's as well. He's played mostly Axe, which is to be expected, but he's been playing a lot of Spear, which I think most people agree is the weakest weapon that uh, as well has at the moment. I, I, I do think so. I think Spear has, obviously, its usages. Sure. Uh, but I just think that Sword is kind of not, you know, Sandman's thing. Yeah. Like, he doesn't really like Sword. Sword is more like, you know, neutral, based, quick, folks, pressure based. He doesn't need that. He needs Axe. He Especially needs against Zhang Hua, where it's like, oh, yeah. it's, it's just not going to be as consistent. Nice is that it? I think so. Just enough. By the way, I also want to mention, I think it's really cool that, like, uh, whenever... Sandman's in Soul Charge and does the 6 is 8 plus B, the pinwheel for the break attack. And Sandy right. is always mashing that auto GI to basically beat out anything that Azul would do quickly, plus it's gonna catch his back dash. Oh, yeah. So that's uh, very at, at, at that point, you kinda can try to just, you know, block it. <laughs> oh, nice! That was pretty good. That's, now that's character knowledge. You're still dead. Oh, okay. Nice dock into. Is he dead? He, he that's is, right? Huge. I think he's dead. If not, he's like one hit away, obviously. Okay, yeah. he's one hit away. Nice block nice into the block. punish! He was too far away for the CE! Oh, he's <laughs> wrong about the axe low again! <laughs> Jesus Christ! And we are taking this main versus parentheses main and parentheses <laughs> question mark from Sandman. Nine to nine, and this is Actually, all... character select. What? No! Uh, I kind of don't want this to be the case, because I kind of wanted it to be main versus main. But I, obviously, I'm saying he gets to do what he wants to do. What is he going to do? What is he I, and do? maybe he's just, you know, taking a breather very, very smart. And City is a very smart pl player. He yes. will take his time, uh, drink some water, you know, do whatever he has to do to come down. And but, like, maybe... how do you... So if I'm in an incendiate situation, I'm trying to figure, like, okay, what can I do better? Guess axe better? I mean, he's stuffing these axles when he has the opportunity to do so at a lot of times, but I just don't I just don't know what he can do other than be other than be correct about the axe mix ups more and be correct about grabs more often. Like what what else can you do? The the thing is, at one point he was super correct about everything. Yes. And then he kinda like And then suddenly broke. not. <laughs> yeah, so maybe just taking a break will let him, you know, get his magic bag and, and, and start blocking it. Other thing he kind of can try to do is throw a bit more reversal edges there yeah. just to maybe throw Sandman out. Some, Alternatively... Yeah, some sort of thing that we're not just sitting there in neutral trying to be correct about a mix. Yeah. Just just uh, force him to do a different mix at that point. I don't think Axel that's what we're but also, I gotta I, say, no. I think this stage is definitely very heavily in uh, Jordan's neck of the woods here. See, like, he oh, yeah. has no weapon, he's got, I mean, I still don't think he has a weapon. Ooh. Yeah, that's nice. that, that was a real tough stuff. But he has no, Salmon has no room to run around. It's so small, so many, like, wall hits and everything. So he's gonna have to come up with something. And the last time he was in a small stage like that, he got kind of beat up. So, I don't know what he's gonna pull off here. 
No! He's not confirming just, these. Just just goes wild. No! Oh, no! Oh, that was crazy, but no punish! Dude, that sucks because he nice had eight. the axe low correct, but then he had no weapon after that whip, so he couldn't do anything. Yeah, that was like the worst situation. Oh, nice! Oh, wow. It's a great confirm. That yeah, solid. Is he it? He had it, right? I, I definitely think so. No! Wow! No. That's he, he get like... He, he was like 81 HP, Jordan had 81 HP, and that did like exactly 80. 80.5. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that CE combo kind of blows. Oh, wow, nice, nice GI. GI. That, that actually the first GI I seen uh, Sandman do, and I was thinking yeah. about like, when he has no weapon, and Jordan just like, you know, tried to keep the pressure on, maybe he tried to GI more, but... Yeah, maybe. Didn't really work out in his favor, and that's it for this round. He will have one meter and a half. Yeah. Which will definitely means he will, like, if he wins next round. And it's as well soul charges. So, yeah. you know, they definitely do a lot of good stuff for you. I would definitely, like, maybe not exactly immediately soul charge, but I would soul charge pretty, pretty fast. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I think I would have literally just done a run of soul charge. And effectively put yourself oh. in a position where it's like one bar. Oh, no, that oh, is. No. Oh, God. Very scary stuff. Such brilliance. Nice. He did just get Almighty if that ends up coming up. I mean, uh, Exe, I'm sorry. Oh. And he got... No, it oh, didn't no. work! Oh, crybaby under Exeon! Okay, so this is definitely okay. going to kill. So, so this yes. is two bars to one for the last round. So it's going to be a matter of if Sammy can keep himself from getting CE too many times, literally two, and yeah. uh, <laughs> if, if Sammy can make that one soul charge do wonders. Again, he does have Exeon on top of it, oh, so nice. there is that as well. That, that's oh huge God, damage. Like, that's Half Life right. gone Jesus with, with one correct read. No! And no, he tried to see Ethan, thought against it. Okay. That's it. This is tough. He's gonna have to get out of this situation. He still has a bit of soul charge left. He could yeah, potentially get a lucky ring out, so Incendiate of... does have to be careful about it, oh. and such brilliance loses to the grab. Incendiate with an, a massive clutch grab at the very end, making a 10 to 9 one of the closest sets we've had. Gee whiz.